Last night, a new episode of the continuing adventures of Masti and KK debuted on YouTube. This episode features the new age duo scrambling to raise money to replenish their dwindling supplies. Danter has called it director Bess's Bow Bow's finest work. In a story also involving YouTube, we turned out to our social media expert, Alan, for an expose on that media platform's routine violation of content makers' federal rights. Alan, what can you tell us about YouTube's suspect practice? It's as simple as it is criminal, Fifi Allen. In our society, there is an ongoing tug of war between the copyright holders and those who wish to use copyrighted materials for artistic or educational purposes. These two competing interests both have valid positions and both provide benefits to our culture. The original creators deserve compensation for their work, but society benefits from innovation and the sharing of knowledge. The use of that material allows to help achieve this balance. The United States enacted the Fair Use Doctrine in 1976. It allows copyrighted materials to be used non-commercially for artistic and educational purposes, provided the original creator's work is not significantly diminished in value. In other words, the U.S. government gives people the right to use copyrighted materials without obtaining prior permission of the original creator under certain circumstances, YouTube, as a standard business practice, routinely violates the rights of content makers by censoring their media, which is protected by the fair use doctrine. Here we see the smoking gun. YouTube is notifying Tanster that her video upload has been deleted because Orchard Music made a complaint. You will notice that there is no fair use analysis. There is no opportunity for Tanster to present her position. While she has the right under federal law to use the contested material. There is no forum for arbitration of the competing rights of the parties. YouTube only protects the rights of the copyright holders. It is therefore routinely violating the rights of content creators who are permitted to use other materials in their work. Wow, Alan. That is shocking. Do you think YouTube is opening itself up to a class action lawsuit for violating the rights of its users? Most definitely, Fifi Darling. I am surprised their legal department is allowing them to maintain this business practice. Thank you for that insightful report, Alan. By routinely violating the rights of content creators, YouTube is stifling innovation and learning. They are also opening themselves up to legal action. I have a feeling this story isn't over, man.